God is not to be mocked, and if you're serious about honoring him, then I urge you to listen carefully to these words. The Lord has spoken about the impending judgment that will fall upon for nations, and it is imperative that you receive this message with an open heart and mind. These revelations are not to be taken lightly, as they have the potential to change your perspective and, more importantly, your heart. Just recently, I received a word from the Lord following the events at the Paris Olympic ceremony. The message I received was so weighty, so filled with dread, that it's hard to convey just how serious it is. Last month, God spoke to me about a great shaking that would come to seven nations within seven weeks. And as the days have passed, I've seen things unfold exactly as he foretold. Now God has spoken again this time about for specific nations that will soon face his righteous judgment. I don't share these words lightly, and I ask you to listen all the way through. You may find that your own nation is among those mentioned. Remember, you are not here by accident. God has brought you to this moment, and this message is for you. Before I proceed, I pray that the Holy Spirit will move through these words and touch your heart. Lord, I ask that you bless the person reading this. May your presence be with us as we engage with this solemn message. Amen. Now, let me share with you what God has revealed to me. The Lord says, I, the Lord your God, hey, am warning you in advance that for nations will be destroyed because they have mocked my people and disrespected my name. It is time for these countries to face the consequences of their actions, for I will not be ridiculed. I have witnessed the evil done in secret, the pride that fills the hearts of many, and the sin that rises like a stench before my throne. Now is not the time to be complacent or ignorant, for my judgment is at hand. God continues, I am revealing to you what will happen to these for nations that have mocked my name, trampled on my grace, and disregarded the one who gives them life. These nations have turned away from the truth and embraced evil. They have called what is wrong right, and what is right wrong. They have scorned my prophets and silenced those who dared to speak my word. Their time to answer for their actions is coming swiftly. The first nation that God speaks of once shone brightly as a beacon of freedom and prosperity. It was a country that honored God from its very inception, inscribing his name on its currency and seeking his blessings for its leaders. But over time, this nation has lost its way. It has turned away from its first love, removing prayer from its schools and the Ten Commandments from its courthouses. Pride has consumed this nation, leading it to believe it is invincible. But God says this nation will fall, and it will fall hard. Its pride has reached the heavens, and I am reaching out my hand to bring judgment. A shaking will come to this land like never before and all its false gods will crumble. The second nation has long been an enemy of God's people persecuting those who bear his name. It is a country that has elevated its leaders to the status of gods, seeking to honor them instead of the one true God. This nation has oppressed the poor, silenced the truth-tellers, and sought power at the expense of justice. 
the leaders of this nation have conspired together, believing they can outmaneuver God and his chosen ones, but God declares their plans will fail. A great and powerful force will shake their foundations, and their power will disintegrate. The Third Nation has a long and storied history, having witnessed the rise and fall of many empires. Much light has been given to this nation, but it has rejected the truth and embraced darkness. It has become a dwelling place for demons, a haunt for every unclean spirit. This nation has exchanged God's glory for idols made of wood and stone, leading its people into grave sin.